Hello there, this is Easy English Joy and welcome to our reading comprehension about My House, a short story where every word matters. Join us as we embark on a journey through the world of short stories. My House Read the story, then answer the questions below. My House is in the United States. I live in the United States. The United States is a country. My house is in North Carolina. I live in North Carolina. North Carolina is a state. The weather in North Carolina is nice. It is sunny. The sky is blue. My house is in Chapel Hill. I live in Chapel Hill. Chapel Hill is a city. It is a city on a hill. It is a city on a small mountain. My house is red. My house is brick. I live in a red brick house the next slide are the questions questions there are seven questions for you to answer and each question has three options for you to choose you have five seconds to give your answer before i'm going to move on to the next question and give you the correct answer if you think five seconds is not enough you can pause the video question number one what is the united states a. A city B. A state C. A country What is the United States? A. A city B. A state C. A country Answer is Letter C. United States is a country Number 2 What is North Carolina? A. A city B. A state C. A country What is North Carolina? A. A city B. A state C. A country Answer is North Carolina is a state It's letter B Number 3 What is Chapel Hill? A. A city B. A state C. A country what is Chapel Hill? A. A city B. A state C. A country Answer is It is a city Number 4 How is the weather in Chapel Hill? A. Rainy B. Sunny C. Cloudy How is the weather in Chapel Hill? A. Rainy B. Sunny C. Cloudy Answer is letter B. It's sunny Number 5. What is my house made of? A. Wood B. Brick C. Metal What is my house made of? A. Wood B. Brick C. Metal Answer is letter B. It's brick. Number six. What color is my house? A. Red. B. Blue. C. Yellow. What color is my house? A. Red. B. Blue. C. Yellow. Answer is letter A. It's red. Number seven, last question. What is a hill? A. A forest. B. A large river. C. A small mountain. What is a hill? A. A forest. B. A large river. C. A small mountain. Answer is letter C. A hill is a small mountain. 
The next slide is the answer and explanations. Answers and explanations. Number one, answer is letter C. In paragraph one, we are told the United States is a country. Therefore, C is correct. The passage does not contain information to support choices A and B. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number two, answer is letter B. Paragraph two tells us North Carolina is a state. Therefore, B is correct. The passage does not contain information to support choices A and C. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number three, answer is letter A. In paragraph three, we learn Chapel Hill is a city. Therefore, A is correct. The passage does not contain information to support choices B and C. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number four, answer is letter B. In paragraph two, the speaker tells us that she lives in the state of North Carolina. In paragraph three, we learn that the speaker lives in the city of Chapel Hill. From this information, we can understand that the city of Chapel Hill is in the state of Carolina. In paragraph two, the speaker tells us that the weather in North Carolina is sunny. If the weather in North Carolina is sunny, then the weather in Chapel Hill must be sunny too. Therefore, B is correct. The passage does not contain information to support choices A and C. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number five, answer is letter B. In paragraph four, the speaker tells us, my house is brick. Therefore, B is correct. The passage does not contain information to support choices A and C. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number six, answer is letter A. In paragraph four, the speaker tells us, My house is red. Therefore, A is correct. The passage does not contain information to support choices B and C. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number seven, answer is letter C. In paragraph three, when the speaker tells us about Chapel Hill, she says, it is a city on a hill. Then, she lets us know more about Chapel Hill. She tells us it is a city on a small mountain. From this, we can understand that a small mountain and a hill are the same thing. Therefore, C is correct. The passage does not contain information to support choices A and B. Therefore, they are incorrect. So there you go, guys. That's the end of this reading comprehension, a short story about my house. I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, share, and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you. Good luck and thanks for watching. Hello there. This is Easy English Joy and welcome to our reading comprehension about my family. A short story where every word matters. Join us as we embark on a journey through the world of short stories. Directions. Read the story, 
then answer the questions below. My family. Hi, my name is Eric. I am 12. I want to talk about my family. I have two sisters. Their names are Rachel and Gary. Rachel is 18 years old. Gary is 10 years old. They are very nice. My mother's name is Julia. She is 40 years old. My mother is also very nice. My father's name is Andre. He is smart. He is an engineer. He builds bridges. I also have a dog. My dog's name is Pao. He is a big dog. He is a brown dog. He is a big brown dog. I love my family. The following slide are the questions. Questions. There are eight questions in total and you are given five seconds to give your answer before I'm going to move on to the next item and give you the correct answer. If you think five seconds is not enough, you can pause the video. Number one. How many sisters do I have? A1 B2 C3 D4 How many sisters do I have? A1 B2 C3 D4 Answer is letter B. Two sisters. Number two. How old is my mom? A. 25 years old. B. 30 years old. C. 35 years old. D. 40 years old. How old is my mom? A. 25 years old. B. 30 years old. C. 35 years old D. 40 years old Answer is letter D. 40 years old Number 3 My dad is A. A doctor B. A lawyer C. An engineer D. A construction worker My dad is a. A doctor B. A lawyer C. An engineer D. A construction worker Answer is letter C. An engineer Number 4. What is the name of my dog? A. Julia B. Pao C. Andre D. Curry what is the name of my dog? A. Julia B. Pao C. Andre D. Curry Answer is letter B. It's Pao Number 5 What color is my dog? A. He is white B. He is black C. He is brown. D. He is yellow. What color is my dog? A. He is white. B. He is black. C. He is brown. D. He is yellow. Answer is letter C. It's brown. Number six. 
What is the name of my younger sister? A. Curry. B. Rachel. C. Andrew. D. Julia. What is the name of my younger sister? A. Curry. B. Rachel. C. Andrew. D. Julia. Answer is letter A. It's Curry. Number seven. What is the name of my older sister? A. Curry. B. Rachel. C. Andrew. D. Julia. What is the name of my older sister? A. Curry. B. Rachel. C. Andrew. D. Julia. Answer is letter B. It's Rachel. Number eight. Is my dog small or big? A. He is small. B. He is big. Is my dog small or big? A. He is small. B. He is big. Answer is letter B. He is big. The following slide is the answer and explanations. Answers and explanations. Number one, answer is letter B. In paragraph two, Eric tells us that he has two sisters. Therefore, B is correct. Number two, answer is letter D. In paragraph 3, Eric tells us that his mother is 40 years old. Mother is another word for mom. Therefore, D is correct. Number 3, answer is letter C. In paragraph 4, Eric says, My father is an engineer. Father is another word for dad. Therefore, C is correct. Even though Eric's dad builds bridges, he is not a construction worker. Therefore, D is incorrect. Number four, answer is letter B. In paragraph five, Eric says, My dog's name is Pau. Therefore, B is correct. Number five, answer is letter C. In paragraph five, we learn that Pau is a brown dog. Therefore, C is correct. Number six, answer is letter A. In paragraph two, Eric tells us that he has two sisters. Eric says Rachel is 18 years old. Carrie is 10 years old. Kari is younger than Rachel. This makes Kari Eric's younger sister. Therefore, A is correct. Number seven, answer is letter B. In paragraph two, we'll learn that Eric's sister Rachel is 18 and Eric's sister Kari is 10. Rachel is older than Kari. This makes Rachel Eric's older sister. Therefore, B is correct. Number eight, last item. Answer is letter B. In paragraph five, we learn about Eric's dog, Pau. Eric says he is a big dog. Therefore, B is correct. So there you go guys, that's the end of this reading comprehension about my family. A short story is where every word matters. I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, share and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you. Good luck and thanks for watching.
Hello there, this is Easy English Joy, and welcome to our reading comprehension about Time 2, a short story where every word matters. So join us as we embark on a journey through the world of short stories. Time 2 Directions Read the story, then answer the questions below. It is 6.15 a.m. It is time to wake up. It is time to take a shower. It is time to brush teeth. It is time to get dressed. It is time to eat breakfast. It is time to go to work. It is time to eat lunch. It is time to go back to work. It is time to go home. It is time to eat dinner. It is time to go to sleep. Billy, she says. What? Billy says. It is time to wake up. The next slide are the questions for you to answer. Questions. There are 10 questions in total and each question has 4 options for you to choose. You have 5 seconds to give your answer before I'm going to move on to the next item and give you the answer. If you think 5 seconds is not enough, you can pause the video. Number 1. What time is it? A. 5.30 in the morning B. 5.30 at night C. 6.15 in the morning D. 6.15 at night What time is it? A. 5.30 in the morning B. 5.30 at night C. 6.15 in the morning D. 6.15 at night Answer is letter C. It's 6.15 in the morning Number 2 What is it time to do first? A. Brush teeth B. Take a shower C. Wake up D. Go to work What is it time to do first? A. Brush teeth B. Take a shower C. Wake up D. Go to work Answer is letter C. Wake up. Number 3. What is it time to do second? A. Brush teeth. B. Wake up. C. Take a shower. D. Go home. What is it time to do second? A. Brush teeth B. Wake up C. Take a shower D. Go home Answer is letter C. Take a shower Number 4 What is it time to do last? A. Go to sleep 
B. Go to work. C. Go to a movie. D. Eat dinner. What is it time to do last? A. Go to sleep. B. Go to work. C. Go to a movie. D. Eat dinner. Answer is It's letter A. Go to sleep. Number 5. What is it time to do after it is time to go home? A. Eat dinner. B. Brush teeth. C. Get dressed. D. Wake up. What is it time to do after it is time to go home? A. Eat dinner. B. Brush teeth. C. Get dressed. D. Wake up. Answer is letter A. Eat dinner. Number 6. Billy wakes up. This means he A. Starts sleeping. B. Starts working. C. Stops sleeping. D. Eats dinner. Billy wakes up. This means he A. Starts sleeping. B. Starts working. C. Stops sleeping. D. Eats dinner. Answer is letter C. Stops sleeping. Number 7 Billy is A. Busy B. Short C. Nervous D. Honest Billy is A. Busy B. Short C. Nervous D. Honest Answer is letter A. Billy is busy. Number 8. It is time to brush teeth. This means it is time for Billy to A. Clean his teeth. B. Chatter his teeth. C. Bite with his teeth. D. Chew with his teeth. It is time to brush teeth. This means it is time for Billy to A. Clean his teeth. B. Chatter his teeth. C. Bite with his teeth. D. Chew with his teeth. Answer is letter A. Clean his teeth. Number 9. Billy goes back to work. This means he A. Likes work. B. Is late for work. C. Returns to work. D. Stays home. Billy goes back to work. This means he a. Likes work. B. Is late for work. C. Returns to work. D. Stays home. Answer is letter C. Returns to work. Number 10. Last item. What is the correct order? A. Breakfast, dinner, lunch. B. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. C. Dinner, lunch, breakfast. D. Lunch, dinner, breakfast. What is the correct order? A. Breakfast, dinner, lunch. B. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. C. Dinner, lunch, breakfast. D. Lunch, dinner, breakfast. 
Answer is letter B. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. The following slide is the answer and explanations. Answers and explanations. Number one, answer is letter C. At the beginning, the story says, it is 6.15 a.m. We can understand from this that it is 6.15 in the morning. Therefore, C is correct. The story does not provide information to support answer choices A and B. Therefore, they are incorrect. The letters AM after 6.15 mean that it is morning. It would say 6.15 p.m. if it was at night. Therefore, D is incorrect. Number two, answer is letter C. The first line of the story says, it is 6.15 a.m. The next line says, it is time to wake up. We can understand from this information that it is early in the morning and the first thing Billy has to do is wake up. Nothing else comes before waking up. Therefore, C is correct. All of the other things Billy does come after waking up. Therefore, A, B, and D are incorrect. Number three, answer is letter C. To be second means to come right after whatever comes first. It is time to take a shower comes right after it is time to wake up. Waking up is the first thing to do, so it is time to take a shower comes second. Therefore, C is correct. The story does not provide information to support answer choices A, B, and D. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number four, answer is letter A. If something is last, this means it is at the end. At the end of the list of things Billy does, it says, it is time to go to sleep. This means the last thing that Billy has to do is go to sleep. Therefore, A is correct. In the middle of the list of things Billy does, it says, It is time to go to work. Since going to work is in the middle, it is not last. Therefore, B is incorrect. Going to a movie is not on the list of things that Billy does. Therefore, C is incorrect. Near the end of the list, we see that it is time to eat dinner comes before it is time to go to sleep. Since something comes after eating dinner, it is not the last thing Billy does. Therefore, D is incorrect. Number five. Answer is letter A. We say something comes after if it follows a thing that comes before it. Near the end, the story says, it is time to go home. Following that sentence, the story says, it is time to eat dinner. Since the time to eat dinner follows the time to go home, the time to eat dinner comes after. Therefore, A is correct. In the story, it is time to brush teeth comes before 
It is time to go home. Therefore, B is incorrect. It is time to get dressed also comes before it is time to go home. Therefore, C is incorrect. It is time to wake up is the first thing Billy does. So, it doesn't come after anything. Therefore, D is incorrect. Number 6. Answer is letter C. At the beginning, the story says it is 6.15 a.m. It is time to wake up. After that, it is time for Billy to get ready and go to work. Billy wakes up first thing in the morning and then gets ready and goes to work. We generally sleep at night and we cannot go to work when we are sleeping. So from this we can understand that to wake up means to stop sleeping. Therefore, C is correct. Since we cannot get ready and go to work while we are sleeping, to wake up cannot mean to start sleeping. Therefore, A is correct. Billy starts working after he wakes up. So, to wake up cannot mean to start working. Therefore, B is incorrect. Billy eats dinner later, at the end of his day. We know this because it is near the end of the list. Eating dinner is listed separately from waking up. So, they cannot mean the same thing. Therefore, D is incorrect. Number 7, answer is letter A. In this story, Billy does many things. To be busy means to be occupied with an activity. Since Billy does activities all day long, we know that Billy is busy. Therefore, A is correct. The story does not provide information to support answer. Choices B, C, and D. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number 8. Answer is letter A. Near the beginning, the story says, It is time to brush teeth. Before this, it is time to take a shower. After this, it is time to get dressed. Since Billy is getting himself clean and prepared for his day, we can understand from this information that to brush teeth is to clean teeth. Therefore, A is correct. The chatter is to click together over and over again quickly. Teeth chatter when a person is cold. In the story, Billy is not cold. He is getting groomed for his day, so it is not time for Billy's teeth to chatter. Therefore, B is incorrect. To bite is to cut into something with your teeth. Billy is getting ready by ge getting clean, so it is not time to cut something with his teeth. Therefore, C is incorrect. To chew is to use teeth to break something up, like a person does when eating. Billy is getting clean and dressed for work. He is not eating, so it is not time to chew. Therefore, D is incorrect. Number 9. Answer is letter C. In the middle of the story, Billy says, It is time to go to work. It is time to eat lunch. It is time to go back to work. 
we can understand from this that Billy goes to work, then stops working when he has lunch, and then starts working again. To return means to go back to doing something you stopped doing earlier. Since Billy stops working to have lunch and then starts work again after lunch, Billy returns to work. Therefore, C is correct. To like something is to enjoy it. The story does not tell us if Billy enjoys work. Billy could return to work whether he likes it or not. Therefore, A is incorrect. The story does not provide information about whether Billy is late or not. Therefore, B is incorrect. Billy does not stay home after lunch because later in the list it is time to go home. Therefore, D is incorrect. Number 10. Answer is letter B. Near the middle of the story, Billy says, It is time to eat breakfast. After that, Billy says, It is time to eat lunch. After that, Billy says, It is time to eat dinner. This means that breakfast comes first, lunch next, and dinner last. Therefore, B is correct. The story does not provide information to support answer choices A, C, and D. Therefore, they are incorrect. So, there you go guys. That's the end of this reading comprehension about time to a short story where every word matters. I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, share, and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you. Good luck and thanks for watching. Hello there, this is Easy English Joy and welcome to our reading comprehension about Rainy Day, a short story where every word matters. So join us as we embark on a journey through the world of short stories. Rainy Day, directions, read the story, then answer the questions below. My name is Mimi. Today is July 5, 2010. Today is a rainy day. I am happy today. Why am I happy? I am happy because it is raining. Is that a strange? Well, Maybe, but I like it when it rains. The rain makes me happy. I like rainy days. I do not like sunny days. I like the sound of the rain. I like the clouds. The clouds are gray. The clouds are big. I like the rain. The following slide are questions for you to answer. Questions. There are six questions for you to answer and you have five seconds to give your answer before I'm going to move on to the next item and give you the correct answer. If you think five seconds is not enough, you can pause the video. Number one. 
What is the weather like in the story? A. It is hot and sunny. B. It is cool and cloudy. C. It is dark and snowy. D. It is cloudy and rainy. What is the weather like in the story? A. It is hot and sunny. B. It is cool and cloudy. C. It is dark and snowy. D. It is cloudy and rainy. Answer is, it is cloudy and rainy. Letter D. Number 2. What is the date in the story? A. March 4, 2012. B. July 5, 2010. C. April 10, 1990. D. November 28, 1987. What is the date in the story? A. March 4, 2012 B. July 5, 2010 C. April 10, 1990 D. November 28, 1987 Answer is letter B. July 5, 2010 Number 3. Why is Mimi happy? A. Because it is her birthday B. Because she passed the test. C. Because it is raining. D. Because she won the game. Why is Mimi happy? A. Because it is her birthday. B. Because she passed the test. C. Because it is raining. D. Because she won the game. Answer is letter... C. Because it is raining. Number 4. Does Mimi like sunny days? A. Yes, yeah, she does like sunny days. B. No, she does not like sunny days. Does Mimi like sunny days? A. Yes, yeah, she does like sunny days. B. No, she does not like sunny days. Answer is letter B. No, she does not like sunny days. Number 5. What are the clouds like? A. High and red. B. Blue and scary. C. Big and gray. D. Green and small. What are the clouds like? A. High and red B. Blue and scary C. Big and gray D. Green and small Answer is letter C. It's big and gray Number 6. Last question What does Mimi like about the rain? 1. The smell of the rain 2. The sound of the rain. A. One only. B. Two only. C. One and two. What does Mimi like about the rain? 1. The smell of the rain. 2. The sound of the rain. A. One only. B. Two only. C, 1 and 2. Answer is letter B, 2 only, the sound of the rain. The next slide is the answer and explanations. Answers and explanations. Number 1, answer is letter D. At the beginning of the story, Mimi says, Today is a rainy day. We can understand from this that it is rainy. At the end of the story, Mimi says, The clouds are gray. The clouds are big. We can understand from this that it is cloudy. 
Therefore, D is correct. Since we know that it is rainy and there are big gray clouds, it is not hot and sunny. Therefore, A is correct. We know that it is cloudy, but the story does not say that it is cool. Therefore, B is incorrect. The clouds might make it dark, but it is rainy, not snowy. Therefore, C is incorrect. Number two, answer is letter B. At the beginning of the story, Mimi says, Today is July 5, 2010. Therefore, B is correct. The story does not provide information to support choices A, C, and D. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number 3. Answer is letter C. Near the beginning of the story, Mimi says, I am happy today. Why am I happy? I am happy because it is raining. We can understand from this that Mimi is happy because it is raining. Therefore, C is correct. The story does not provide information to support choices A, B, and D. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number four, answer is letter B. Near the end of the story, Mimi says, I do not like rainy days. Therefore, B is correct. The story does not provide information to support answer choice A. Therefore, it is incorrect. Number five, answer is letter C. Near the end of the story, Mimi says, The clouds are gray. The clouds are big. We can understand from this that the clouds are big and gray. Therefore, C is correct. The story does not provide information to support choices A, B, and D. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number six, answer is letter B. Mimi does not say anything about the smell of the rain. This eliminates option one. Near the end of the story, Mimi says, I like the sound of the rain. This supports option two. Therefore, B is correct. So there you go guys, that's the end of this reading comprehension about rainy day. I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, share and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you. Good luck and thanks for watching. Hello there, this is Easy English Joy and welcome to our reading comprehension about A Call to the Pool, a short story where every word matters. So join us as we embark on a journey through the world of short stories. A Call to the Pool Directions Read the story, then answer the questions below. My name is Sam. 
Today is very hot. The sun is very strong. I am hot. I want to be cool. How can I get cool? Wait, I know. I can go to the pool. The pool is cool. I can swim in the pool. Is the pool open? Or is the pool closed? Where is the phone? I need to call the pool. I need to find out if the pool is open or closed. Ring, ring. Hello. My name is Andrea. I am at the pool. Can I help you? Hi, Andrea. Is the pool open? Yes, the pool is open. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Bye. Great. The pool is open. Now I can cool down. The next slide are the questions. Questions. There are five questions for you to answer. And you have five seconds to give your answer before I'm going to move on to the next item and give you the correct answer. If you think five seconds is not enough, you can pause the video. Number one. What is the weather like today? A. It is cold. B. It is cool. C. It is warm. D. It is hot. What is the weather like today? A. It is cold. B. It is cool. C. It is warm. D. It is hot. Answer is letter D. It is hot. Number two. Sam is hot, but Sam wants to be A. Cold B. Cool C. Warm D. Hot Sam is hot, but Sam wants to be A. Cold B. Cool C. Warm D. Hot Answer is letter B. Cool Number 3. How can Sam get cool? A. He can go to the library. B. He can go to the pool. C. He can go to, the, to school. D. He can go to work. How can Sam get cool? A. He can go to the library. B. He can go to, to the pool. C. He can go to school. D. He can go to work. Answer is letter B. He can go to the pool. Number four. Why does Sam talk to Andrea? A. Because she is his friend. B. Because she knows his sister. C. Because Sam needs to know what time it is. D. Because Sam wants to know if the pool is open. Why does Sam talk to Andrea? A. Because she is his friend. B. Because she knows his sister. C. Because Sam needs to know what time it is. D. Because Sam wants to know if the pool is open. Answer is letter D. Because Sam wants to know if the pool is open. Number five, is the pool open? A. Yes, the pool is open. B. No, the pool is not open. The pool is closed. Is the pool open? A. Yes, the pool is open. B. No, the pool is not open. The pool is closed. Answer is letter A. Yes, the pool is open. The following slides are the answers and explanations. Answers and explanations. Number one, answer is letter D. 
At the beginning of the story, Sam says, Today is very hot. We can understand from this that the weather is hot. Therefore, D is correct. Sam wants to get cool because the weather is hot. Therefore, B is incorrect. The story does not provide information to support choices A and C, so they are incorrect. Number two, answer is letter B. At the beginning of the story, Sam says, I want to be cool. Therefore, B is correct. The story does not provide information to support choices A and C. Therefore, they are incorrect. Sam is hot, but Sam wants to become cool. Therefore, D is incorrect. Number three, answer is letter B. Sam wants to be cool. Sam asked, how can I get cool? Then Sam says, wait, I know I can go to the pool. The pool is cool. We can understand from this that since the pool is cool, Sam thinks that he can become cool by going in the pool. Therefore, B is correct. The library A, school C, and work D may all be places that are cool. But in the story, Sam thinks that the pool is the place to call off. The story does not mention any of those places. Therefore, answer choices A, C, and D are incorrect. Number four, answer is letter D. In the middle of the story, Sam wants to find out if the pool is open. Sam asks, Who is the phone? Then Sam says, I need to call the pool. I need to find out if the pool is open or closed. The phone rings. Hello, my name is Andrea. I am at the pool. Can I help you? Sam asks Andrea if the pool is open and Andrea says yes. We can understand from this that Sam has called Andrea to find out if the pool is open. Therefore, D is correct. The story does not provide information to support choices A, B, and C. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number five. Answer is letter A. When Sam calls Andrea, he asks, Is the pool open? Andrea replies, Yes, the pool is open. Therefore, A is correct. The pool is open, so it is not closed. Therefore, B is incorrect. So there you go guys, that's the end of this short story about a call to the pool. I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, share and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you. Good luck and thanks for watching. Hello there, this is Easy English Joy and welcome to our reading comprehension about the singing bird. 
a short story where every word matters. So join us as we embark on a journey through the world of short stories. The Singing Bird Directions Read the story, then answer the questions below. Ben has two cats. Their names are Max and Tito. Max is black. Max has green eyes. Max is black with green eyes. Tito is brown. Tito has blue eyes. Tito is brown with blue eyes. They are fast. They are beautiful. They are fast and beautiful. Ben also has a bird. Her name is Lily. Lily likes to sing. Lily sings every day. Sometimes she sings very loud. Max and Tito try to discover who is singing. They look everywhere. Finally, they see who is singing. It is Lily. They sit and watch her sing. The following slide is the comprehension questions. Questions. There are six questions for you to answer and you have five seconds to give your answer before I'm going to move on to the next item and give you the correct answer. If you think five seconds is not enough, you can pause the video. Number one. How many cats does Ben have? A. Ben has one cat. B. Ben has two cats. C. Ben has three cats. D. Ben has four cats. How many cats does Ben have? A. Ben has one cat. B. Ben has two cats. C. Ben has three cats. D. Ben has four cats. Five seconds. Answer is letter B. Ben has two cats. Number two. What are Max and Tito like? One big. Two beautiful. A. One only. B. Two only. C. One and two. What are Max and Tito like? One big. Two beautiful. A. One only. B. Two only. C. One and two. Answer is letter B. Two only. They are beautiful. Number three. Tito's eyes are A. Blue B. Red C. Green Tito's eyes are A. Blue B. Red C. Green Answer is letter A. Tito's eyes are blue. Number four. What is the name of the bird? A. Tito B. Max C. Lily What is the name of the bird? A. Tito B. Max C. Lily Answer is letter 
C it's Lily. Number five. What color is Max? A. Max is orange. B. Max is brown. C. Max is black. What color is Max? A. Max is orange. B. Max is brown. C. Max is black. Answer is letter C. Max is black. Number six. Who is singing? A. Tito. B. Max. C. Lily. Who is singing? A. Tito. B. Max. C. Lily. Answer is letter C. It's Lily. The following slide are the answers and explanations. Answers and explanations. Number one, answer is letter B. The first line of the story says, Ben has two cats. Therefore, B is correct. The story does not provide information to support answer choices A, C, and D. Therefore, they are incorrect. Number two, answer is letter B. The story does not say whether the cats are big or not. This eliminates option one. In the middle of the story, it says that the cats are beautiful. This supports option two. Therefore, B is correct. Number three, answer is letter A. At the beginning of the story, it says, Tito has blue eyes. Therefore, A is correct. No animal in the story has red eyes. Therefore, B is incorrect. According to the story, Max has green eyes, not Tito. Therefore, C is incorrect. Number four, answer is letter C. In the middle of the story, we learn that Ben has a bird. The story says, her name is Lily. Therefore, C is correct. At the beginning of the story, we learn that Max and Tito are the names of Ben's cats, not his bird. Therefore, a and B are incorrect. Number five, answer is letter C. At the beginning of the story, we learn that Max is black. Therefore, C is correct. No animal in the story is orange. Therefore, A is incorrect. The story says that Tito is brown, not Max. Therefore, B is incorrect. Number six, answer is letter C. At the end of the story, it says that Max and Tito see who is singing. It is Lily. From this, we can understand it is Lily who is singing. Therefore, C is correct. The story says, Max and Tito try to discover who is singing. If they are trying to find out who is singing, then neither of them can be the one who is singing. Therefore, A and B are incorrect. So there you go guys. That's the end of this reading comprehension about the singing bird. I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video, please do subscribe, like, share, and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you.
Good luck and thanks for watching.